car chases, explosions, and saving lives. Let's talk about Ambulance, the new Michael Bay film. Hey everyone, this is David Stark from Watcher Pass, and today I'm talking to you about Ambulance, which is coming to theaters on April 8th, 2022. It's a new Michael Bay film, so as you can expect, there's a lot of action, there's a lot of explosions, there's a lot going on. And it's actually pretty good. Like, my hot take is, I think you should watch it. Like, it's not a good movie, but it is a very entertaining film. It's got really good sound. It's got really good action. It's got really good effects. It's a type of movie that you'll want to see in theaters. So even though the story's a little ridiculous and the things that happen are a little over the top, it's still a fun experience. And if you go see it in theaters, you won't be disappointed. So I'm going to tell you a little more about the film, a few things I liked, a few things I didn't like, and go into the ending. So as you can imagine... There will be spoilers. If you don't want to know what happens in the film, you're going to want to turn this off. But I'll try to keep the main spoilers to the ending. There will be a few things that come up as I'm talking about the film, but the main spoilers will be in the ending section. So in Ambulance, you have two brothers, Will and Danny. Will is a veteran, and after his service, seems to be kind of having a tough time with life. His wife needs some sort of surgery. He has a brand new son, and the hospital bills are, are mounting. He's trying to get insurance to cover, but they are not helping him. He also doesn't have a job, so he sees like he's kind of at the end of his ropes. He goes to his brother, Danny, who seems to be very successful. We find him in like this car dealership with all these really nice cars. He's wearing a nice suit. He seems like a smooth talking, successful person. And Will goes to him saying like, hey, I need some help. Now, conveniently, or maybe not, depending on your view on the film, Danny's about to do a bank heist. So he brings Will in saying like, there's this $32 million heist. Come in, help me out. I need one more person. And then like all your troubles will be gone. Will doesn't really want to like they both grew up in a life of crime their father was this like big career criminal and danny seems to have taken after him will went to the army to try to leave that life but given his circumstances danny brings him back in so they go to this bank robbery it's supposed to be a really quick painless operation it's a michael bay movie it's not quick it's not painless it leads to this insane action and that is ambulance so things I liked about this movie, the first is the cinematography. This film has a lot of intense action shots, a lot of fast shots, a lot of drone uh, camera angles that like highlight LA, but also show some of the insane action that's happening. You get um, some really, really fast camera work as it's like going over the, the car chases or like during the bank heist, you see all the action happening and you'll have tracking shots of like everything going on. The cinematography and the camera angles really make this an exciting film and really kind of contribute to why you want to see this because it's an action movie. The camera work really helps with that. The second thing I liked is the action. Like it's a Michael Bay film. There's going to be action. And it's all very well done. There's, you know, gunfire, there's a bank heist, there's the car chase, there's uh, some explosions that happen. It's all over the map and it's pretty exciting throughout, through and through. And the third thing I liked are the leads. I mean, they all do a really good job. There's three main leads in this film. There's Jake Gyllenhaal as Danny. He is this kind of charismatic, smooth talking criminal, but he goes back and forth. Like at one, like in one instance, he is sympathetic. In the next instance, he seems very ruthless. And Jake Gyllenhaal does a great job of kind of bringing this character to life, keeping him kind of unpredictable and funny and entertaining. Now, Yaya Abdul-Mateen II is Will. He is a lot more even keeled. He is a much more sympathetic character, but he also does a really good job. He's a nice foil to Danny. Like Danny is a little bit more outgoing, energetic, crazy. Will is more kind of level-headed. He's just trying to like get this job done. Doesn't want to get anyone hurt. And so together they form a nice kind of pair. Now, Isaac Gonzalez as Cam is also a lot of fun because she is like a no-nonsense ENT. She's just trying to take care of people, but she has some depth and some character growth as well as she kind of sees this insanity progress the fourth thing i liked is the sound and this was probably because i saw it in theaters but the sound is really good like you get gunfire you get explosions you get car chases all that is big and exciting but then you also get uh like i saw it in dolby cinema so i had like rumbles from the seat which was really good during the car chases and during the bank robbery when some of the explosions happened and also if you have atmos you get some a lot of overhead sounds especially the helicopters like there's it's la it's a car chase there's helicopters throughout and if you have a, an atmos theater you get that sound during the film and the last thing i really love are the effects like it's a michael bay film so it's going to have explosions it's going to have car chases a, the main portion of this movie is is a car chase and so you have cars crashing you have cars flipping over you have cars exploding you've got uh stalls and buildings getting damaged during this and it all seems to be practically done like it i don't i don't know if there's cg i didn't really catch it but if there is it's all very well done i think a lot of it though is practical effects but then there's also practical effects in some of the gore like there's not a ton of gore in this film but when there is it is also well done 
There is a, an accident at the start that has some really, really good effects. There is uh, gunfire during the bank heist that is really well done. And then there's also a surgery that happens later on that has that also looks practically done and very realistic and very, very gruesome. So overall, the effects were just really, really well done. Things I didn't love as much. I mean, there's it's a Michael Bay movie again. Like everything seems to be tied to this as a Michael Bay movie. And there is some ridiculousness in the story and the choices. Like the story is insane. The, it's a car chase that happens throughout LA, all over, up and down the city. Like it makes no sense, but it is an exciting story. Characters also make some pretty bad decisions during the uh, this endeavor. So like they go into this bank robbery without wearing masks. Eventually they do put on these like payday uh, style masks. And it actually has a very payday like feel when things go south. But they, may, they start off this heist not wearing masks. I'm like, why would you do that? Also like Danny seems to be in a good place. So why would he throw away everything for this big heist? I guess maybe he wanted more. He always wanted that rush of more. But, you know, things like that. Not the best decisions. But you know what? It's an exciting film. The second thing I didn't love is, that, you know, there's some bad dialogue. It's not all bad. There is, there is just a little bit of corny dialogue. Like, actually, a lot of dialogue is pretty funny, especially when Danny kind of gets going. He has some really, really funny uh, moments. But there are some instances of corny dialogue. There are some instances of bad dialogue. It's Again, it's not that big of a deal. And the last thing I didn't love, there is some very obvious branding in this movie. Again, it's a big budget movie. You're going to get some branding. But it is it is pretty obvious. It's pretty in your face. But then again, there is one character, the, the chief of police, who is basically spending the entire movie decked out in USC gear. He has like a USC shirt and a USC hat. So you know what? There is some good branding. Fight on. So overall, again, that, that's kind of like a it, it, it's something that distracted me, but it's not all bad. So going into the ending, we basically have three main pairs of characters in this movie. You've got Will and Danny, you've got Cam, the EMT, and her partner, and then you have an officer, Officer Zach, and his partner. And they all kind of independently make their way to this bank robbery and all kind of collide during this bank robbery. So as you can imagine, the bank robbery goes south. Um, Officer Zach came into the bank earlier and Will and Danny take him as a hostage to kind of make sure that they get out. Most of Danny's crew kind of try to rush out of the building and get into a firefight with the police. Will and Danny try to sneak out. So they are trying to escape with two bags of the money, $60 million total. And eventually Officer Zach tries to overpower Danny and it looks like he might be getting the upper hand and Will shoots him to prevent him from shooting his brother. So Will tries to save him. He had some medical experience during his service. But eventually, Will and Danny have to run. So Zach is kind of on the ground, hurt, and his partner comes and finds him, calls an ambulance, and then you have Cam and her partner driving the ambulance up. They get Zach into the ambulance and head to the hospital. Before they get out of the building, Danny stops him and forces Cam to drive him and his brother out of the building. So, but, so basically, Cam's partner is left when the ambulance gets hijacked. Zach's partner is left behind because he can't go in the ambulance. And now Will and Danny are in the ambulance. They get out and they think, okay, we're scot-free, but the police realize early on that they're in this ambulance and, have been, and start tracking them. So now we have this intense car chase that goes all throughout LA. It is, it is a very intense car chase. There's a lot of facets to it. There's a lot of maneuvers that happen. There's some, you know, pretty quick turns. There's some, there's some drifting. There's a lot of car crashes. There's a lot of cars slipping over. There's a lot of like stalls and restaurants and things like that that get destroyed. It's an intense action-packed sequence, but there are some other instances too that happen. So during the car chase, during the ambulance chase, Zach starts to get worse because he's lost a lot of blood and Will saves him by giving him blood while he's driving the ambulance. Not a great decision because he's driving the ambulance. He probably needs that. He doesn't want to like get lightheaded from giving blood, but he does it anyways to save Zach. Also during this car chase, Cam has to operate on Zach, but she's an EMT. She's not a surgeon. So she calls up an ex-boyfriend who then calls some surgeons and they have this like Zoom surgery that is hilarious. It's really funny seeing them talk Cam through surgery in this ambulance, driving through LA. There's some really funny moments. And again, like I said, this there's some really great effects during this surgery. So again, this ambulance scene is a lot of the movie eventually Danny arranges to like have them escape and he calls in some favors and gets this like shell game to happen so they drive the, the ambulance underneath this overpass and the police think okay we've got them but then six other ambulances all 
leave from this overpass and and danny and will are in one of them the idea being that like they'll distract the police enough so that danny and will can escape also some of these ambulances are decoys and so that leads to some traps for the police officers to try to sow some more confusion and make sure that danny and will escape but unfortunately during the chaos one of the gang members is hunted down by the police and ends up getting shot and that's not good because that gang member was the son of the leader of the gang, the person that Danny made a deal with, the, uh, this person named Poppy. So Danny and Will and Cam and Officer Zach eventually get to, like, I guess the gang's hideout. And they, they bring the ambulance in. Everything seems okay, but everyone seems a little tense. Like, there's a lot of uh, eyes on them. There's a lot of hands, like, on the guns. You're not sure what's going to happen. Danny and Will go up to talk to Poppy. It's a little bit heated, but they kind of come to an agreement. Like they kind of honor the agreement and split the money. So each each person gets eight million dollars. And Danny and Will are about to leave with their eight million dollars. And Poppy says, "Oh, by the way, the EMT and the officer stay because they've seen his operations. They know where it is, and he doesn't want them to leave." Danny's okay with this. He just wants to get out of there. He's got the money. He hasn't. He, has, he wants to get out of there with his and his brother's life and the money. Will is not okay with this. He says, no, like, no one's going to be left behind. We're not going to leave anyone. Like, essentially accepting the consequences, but saying, like, no, we're not going to do that. Danny, you know, he wants to survive. So he tries to talk some sense in the will. But during this interchange, while he's talking some sense in the will, he kind of foreshadows, like, he will help Will out. And they kind of, like, speak in code to get a plan. But eventually they go back to back turn around in a circle and like shoot everyone in this office. So basically like all of Poppy's guards and eventually Danny shoots Poppy as well. So they did all this to get to this hideout and then basically kind of throw it away for for Cam and Officer Zach. So now Danny and Will are running to the, to the ambulance. They're going to get in. But while Danny and Will were up there, Cam was in the ambulance trying to like, keep it closed and being intimidated by the gang members there. They like looked like they were probably going to do something bad to them. So she had a gun that Officer Zach had kind of inadvertently smuggled into the ambulance. So she was ready, waiting in case someone tried to get into the ambulance. Will and Danny are running there. Will opens the door to get in the ambulance. Cam is nervous, scared, and she shoots. Ends up shooting Will in the shoulder. She didn't mean to shoot Will. Like she wanted to, sh she wanted to just protect herself, but she shoots Will. So they get Will into the ambulance. Danny jumps into the, into the ambulance and drives. Now Will was only shot in like the shoulder, so it doesn't seem like it would be that bad. But yeah, I think probably because he lost a lot of blood, he gave a lot of blood to Zach. He's not doing that well. He starts to kind of flatline. Uh, Cam is able to kind of stabilize him, but he needs to get to the hospital. So Danny drives them to the hospital, which you would think would be okay, except the hospital has like every cop in the city there they like surround the ambulance they've got snipers trained on them they're ready and waiting for them to open the doors so during this time danny finds out that cam actually shot well now it was an accident like i said but she did shoot him so danny is pretty upset he doesn't know what to do he's kind of like essentially at the end of his ropes he pulls a gun on cam and is like i'm gonna go out there i'm gonna shoot you on live tv they're gonna shoot me we're both gonna go out in a blaze of glory cam doesn't want this to happen but there's not much she can do. There's a gun to her. So Danny's like getting ready. There, he's getting ready to like push open the door. Uh, you also hear like the police snipers kind of trying to get a shot, but they can't get a clear shot. He pushes open the door and then you, you hear a gunshot and you see like some blood from Danny's chest. And you think, okay, one of the snipers must have done it. They must have gotten a clear shot. But no, the camera tracks back and you see Will holding the gun. He didn't want Danny to kill Cam. And so he shot his brother to save her. Now, Danny falls on the floor, bleeding. Uh, Cam is kind of shooed away by the police. The police enter the ambulance. They get Will. They throw them both on the ground. They cuff them. And then you have this really interesting, like, strangely powerful scene because you've got Will and Danny both kind of handcuffed on the ground, both needing medical care, and no one doing anything. Like, the officers are all kind of standing around, essentially watching them bleed out. Cam is trying to, like, get them to help. Like, she's basically saying, like, look, like, you're at the hospital like they need medical care get them to the hospital and the hospital is like 10 steps away but no one does anything to help them and just kind of watches them as they're on the ground dying from their injuries um danny eventually does bleed out and will sees this and you have this like really emotional scene where will like 
you know, starts yelling, like, look, I mean, he did shoot Danny, but, you know, Danny was his brother. And during this scene, while you see kind of like Danny bleed out, uh, there are flashbacks to them as kids playing together. So it is this kind of like, you know, heartfelt moment. So Danny eventually bleeds out. Cam is out there trying to get them to save Will. Um, and the police are saying like, you know, no, he's, he'll, he'll be fine. He's okay. And eventually she's like, no, he saved my life. Like, get, like essentially do like, she's basically going like, do your job, like get him into the hospital. And they're like, no, he's going to be okay. Eventually she says he saved my life. He also kidnapped her, but he did save her life. So it was valid. And like basically pushes her way to will and starts trying to like operate on him, but he's, you know, not, he's, he's pretty far gone. And so she needs some help. So she sees Zach's partner, like basically next to him he was like watching him bleed out like standing over him and she tells him like he saved your partner's life like help me help me and so zach's partner eventually gets down and helps as well helps get him on the gurney get him into the hospital so now that he's now that will is going to the hospital cam you know picks up her bag and and goes to leave she recognizes will's wife and son his baby son in the crowd and goes up to them she had seen will facetime his wife and son during the uh pursuit just trying to like see them probably because he thought that those was probably his last time seeing them and so she recognizes them basically tells will, will's wife like to forgive him like he's a good man and at least forgive him for your son so she's you know trying to at least convey that he did some good and also during this time she like sneakily puts some money into the baby carrier now will's wife is holding his son so the baby carrier is just there kind of empty. So she sneaks some money into the baby carrier. This is money that Will had grabbed when he thought he was going to die. And he said, like, give this to my wife. Like, make sure this gets to my wife. So Cam does. Rather than keeping the money, she gives it to his wife. Again, not a great decision because there are, uh, there are probably news cameras, like, hovering around watching this scene. So someone probably would have seen something. But it makes for an emotional movie scene. So Cam then walks away. We later see Cam going back into the hospital. And we think maybe she's going to go visit Will. Make sure he's okay. But nope. She goes and visits this person, Lindsay. Who was in like the first scene. In the first scene there was a car accident. And Cam and her partner went to like uh, provide medical support. And Lindsay was this kid in this car crash that was badly hurt. Cam helped like basically get her out alive. Get her to the hospital. But she had this philosophy that like once you get to the hospital... That's it. You've done your job. You don't want to follow after. You don't want to see what happens because, you know, you've done everything you can. And I think you just, she had, she didn't want to become emotionally attached. So now she goes to see Lindsay. Lindsay wakes up. They like grab each other's hands and you see that Cam has kind of grown as well because of this ordeal. You also see Officer Zach and Officer Zach is getting kind of questioned by the FBI, basically showing a lineup of Danny and Will and saying like, who shot you? Who shot you? So Officer Zach points to Will and you kind of hold your breath and he said, he saved me. So maybe everything is going to get pinned on Danny. You don't know, but at least Officer Zach is saying that Will saved him. Then you see Will, and Will's you know in a hospital bed. I don't think he's awake. I think he's still kind of like unconscious, but he's in a hospital bed. He's stable, and he's in this hospital room that has like police, a police sticker on it, like do not enter, and he's being monitored by a cop. But just outside the room, you see his wife and his son. So it seems like his wife and son are probably going to forgive him or at least, you know, try to forgive him. So you get this kind of bittersweet ending. You don't find out what happens after that. It shows like scenes of LA and hits the credits, but you know, it does seem like Will will get maybe the best circumstance from this ordeal, or at least the most lenient circumstance. He's probably still going to get some, some jail time because I mean, they did rob a bank, lead a high speed chase. There's probably a lot of destruction to happen. But maybe they'll try to pin that all on Danny. We don't know. It is a bittersweet ending. It is probably the happiest ending given everything that happened in the movie. So that is Ambulance. Like I said, it's not a great movie, but it is really entertaining. It has a lot of explosions, a lot of action. It's a really good movie to see in theaters. If you go see it, you're going to have a good time. You're going to enjoy it. So it's coming to theaters on April 8th, 2022. And thanks so much for watching. If you like this review, please like and subscribe to this channel. It helps me out a lot. Make sure all my new content goes straight to you. Thank you.